What's up guys, just a quick video today. Well, I say quick, it's probably gonna go a little bit longer than expected, but we're gonna be talking about a banking preset and also regular presets for PVM as well. These are super efficient and convenient, um, but also it's gonna help you improve at PVM because if you're using presets, it makes sure you have everything that's gonna be convenient to take with you. I see too many people going and doing bossing with something that looks kind of like this. Uh, I don't know, let's just say this would be their preset and then they've got their equipped gear you would say and that's what they go on PVM with and they're missing a lot of stuff. Now if you don't use presets you're not going to want to grab all that stuff out of the bank every time anyway but if you do and then you've got it all and you take your time with it you're going to get a lot more out of your PVM trips than if you use this. So also as well we're going to talk about this banking preset that I've got here. Someone asked me about this yesterday and asked if I could cover it so that's why we're making this today. So thank you for suggesting that and asking that question. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Hopefully it helps you out. Let's start with a banking preset. What this is, is a banking preset that I will use before I go to bosses, sometimes between bosses, and it pretty much just has everything in there that I might want to use before going to a boss encounter, but not actually wanting it on my main preset. So it's to save time basically, but also not clog up inventory space. For example, in here, you're gonna see that I've got incense sticks. I have got my penance powder. Got my familiar pouches and any that I would use and scrolls that would go with it as well. Obviously, the Reaver doesn't really use scrolls, so we don't need to use that. I'll grab them if I need them for the healing or whatever. Got my quivers and the arrows that would go in them. Uh, there's some missing from here as well. I normally have my grimoire in here and some pages too. And I will also have like a different book and some pages as well if need be. However, those could be fully charged now, so I just charge them as much as I can afford. And it does, it's not a big deal. I have my rune pouches and some runes that I can quickly then put like, the runes into the rune pouch here and save a bit of time that way. And then I've also got my weapon poison and my anti-poison as well. Now this basically just saves me a lot of time between going to bosses um, and whenever I need to bank and stuff and getting ready for a boss. So for example, if I go right, we're going to go to Karapak. I'm going to know that I need a Calgarian Demon, so I'll do that. And then I'll click here to get the scrolls in. I know that I'm going to use weapon poison, so I'll use my incense sticks here. Um, and I know that I want to uh, extend my overload in, uh, overload potions as well, so I'll use those too. And then I'll also use my weapon poison, because that's for Karapak. And I'll make sure my runes are nicely stocked up before I go. And if there's anything else I need to do, then I will do that. I don't really use penance powder at Karapak. I'm not going to be using rain, so I don't need to worry about the ammo in here. And then all I do from there is load my Karapak preset, and off I go, ready to go. Now this also means I don't have to have weapon poison in my inventory, as it lasts for 13 minutes, and I don't need to take anything else with me. So the banking preset is really useful because then also between kills, when I kill the boss and then teleport back to wars, what I will do is say we've just killed the boss now. We'll come back, we pray at the altar here, and then of course the kill's probably taken me like, I don't know, four or five minutes. So every second kill, I'm going to come back in here, load the banking preset, drink another dose of weapon poison every second kill because it lasts for 13 minutes. So just to be safe, I'll use it every second time and then I will load my preset again and off we go. So this just saves a lot of time between kills. It's nice and organized and it is definitely something that you guys should take advantage of if need be. One other thing that I've got on here is you'll see that I've got equipped lots of different items. Now I've got the look of the dwarves purely for the teleports because the GE sometimes I want to use this. But the other stuff, the Crypt Bloom armor, the Reef Walker cape, um, and the, the Grace of the Elders also for, also for teleports as well. But the shield is for when I am using my campfire boost. So the, the bonfire boost, right? If you come here, if you have HP boosting items and you use this, you will get more out of this boost than if you didn't have the HP stuff on there. So doing this is definitely something that, it, that is worth doing, having the tank gear on. And then when you change to your regular weapons, uh, your regular gear, you're gonna notice that you get that HP boost. So it is absolutely worth doing that and just having it set up. So this banking preset is purely just for efficiency in that sense. I, if I need more runes and stuff, it just goes there. It's nice and fast and anything like that, uh, it, it's done and dusted. Now, that's what that is, for anyone who's wondering. If you want to set that up the same, just think of anything you would possibly need, or just copy mine as it is, and include any little extras that you would need, uh, and do it like that. Now, next up, we're going to talk about actually building a preset for a boss, as I know from coaching videos and stuff like that, that this is something that you guys can probably benefit from. So let's talk about that now. 
Okay, so boss PVM presets. Now, something that a lot of people don't do is even use a preset in the first place. If you're getting into PVM, use a preset. You come into your bank on the bottom right here, you've got the preset settings, and in here you can set them up and you can rename them by clicking this and, and picking the thing and then overriding it, right? And then also you've got here the bag, the helmet, and the, the familiar icon. If you tick these and untick them, that's what's going to load in between things. So if I click on, for example, my Solak one, and then I untick the familiar, basically what's going to happen is it'll only load my backpack and my one equipment if i only want to load the worn equipment i go and take the helmet and you can see it changes like that now what you want to do and what is ideal especially if you are starting out in pvm is have a second preset instead of your banking one have a second one and then have in here what's your basic stuff that you would take to all presets so if you look at my presets right now you're going to see there's some very similar similar stuff across lots of them this is for my zami i've got the run, running the dungeon and other things as well don't worry about that but if you look at the zami you got the um the elder overload and the prayer and all adrenaline potion vulnerability bombs excalibur um, and then a, another weapon melee weapon for blade of dive there's a vip pot there which is your boss specific but still kind of useful to have um and the infernal puzzle box which should be on my tool belt but if it's not then it's not right um but then if you look at temple of amnishi we got the elder overload we've got the prayer renewal we've got adrenaline potion we've got vulnerability bomb we've got excalibur we've got something for bladed dive um we've got the puzzle box that's still there right and you can see the room patches are there too because i use magic everywhere because i'm just a one trick with magic um and that's just how it is if you look at the shadow reef it's the same you've got the elder overload you've got the prayer and all you've got the adrenaline potion this is a range preset you got the vulnerability bombs you've got the blade of dive is still the same so what i'll suggest you guys do is make a basic preset with that stuff on there and then you can build for each boss before you go there and you can add the certain things that you need so for example if you had overloads like i don't we've got these ones we'll use these instead make a preset that is literally just your elder overload your prayer and all now you might want to make salves of these that's absolutely fine whatever potions you want to use but make sure you got your stat boosted potion your your prayer and all somewhere in there and then of course you're going to want to have things like your adrenaline potion this is important things like your weapon poisons and vitality potions you can leave those off until you go know which boss you're going to because you might not use the weapon poisons all the time anyway um but things like that now obviously if you have um the enhanced excalibur bring that with you as well uh, do I even where is it at? Let's just use this search thing if you guys it, it, you just use the search thing trust me It's just it's just what it's there for <laughs> so you're gonna get the Excalibur got your blade of dive um, And then I can't even remember what, what the next things are. So let's just have a quick check We don't want vulnerability bombs. You always want to take vulnerability bombs with you as well Take some of those with you go back and check the next thing you want a shield always 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 take a shield with you as well um, And then we kind of pretty much there like let's just get our shield out of here So we'll just grab our defender instead because I know that I would rather use that in most places um and then probably some 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 prayer potions now i would just get one of these for now because you might want to use more you might want to use less depending on where you're going right one might be enough in most places but you may need to use more in others so i won't worry about it too much but once you've got this you then need to also consider a few other things as well now i have the passive ring of vigor effect if you don't have the passive ring of vigor effect put a vigor in here and if you don't have the greater sunshine or greater deathlessness, you also want to have planted feet in here as well. So the ring of vigor and planted feet, these are going to be really important. Another thing you may want to bring along with you everywhere you go is a luck ring. So a ring of fortune if you're a low level player or if you have um, a look of the dwarves or a signet ring, then of course you would put that in there as well. So we get the look of the dwarves, which I've actually got equipped. So don't worry about it. We'll quickly, oops, we'll quickly put that. Oh, no, no quickly put that in here cool so look at dwarves and then i would have my ring of vigor and i would have my planted feet planted feet and ring of vigor are really important so definitely bring them along with you but otherwise you could save this as your regular base preset so you would come in here and you would save this over this and you would have that as your basic thing right and then once you've done this whenever you decide where you're going you think about what you need and you just load that preset and build from there so we're going to come down here we're going to go oh look let's go we're going to go to zook we're going to go build a preset for zook so we would go into the bank then we would load this from the bank and then we would go right this is our basic preset i know that zook is a long fight so we're going to take another super restore potion maybe take three in total unless you have a blessed flask for example um you could also use penance powder to reduce this too it's obviously something you can think about uh, you can poison the actual mobs along the way i'm pretty sure so you could bring this if you need to but again if you've got a banking preset you save that space as well you may want to bring along some like super brews if you're struggling and learning with zuck still so you get super brews instead 
um, you get yourself out some blubber jellyfish and then maybe you want to just make sure that you I don't know you, you've got plenty of food so you bring a couple of these instead as well and then of course you're gonna want to go back and just get any other bits of extra gear that you need along the way as well obviously this is magic preset so I'm probably gonna want all of these stuff here as, as well you're gonna want your room pouches you know what I mean like obviously this is a quick example but you're gonna want to just build it up to how you really need it so have all your basic stuff in there that's gonna be taken everywhere on a basic preset load that up and then add the rest of the stuff and as you can see it's quite nice and easy to build a normal preset from that um from just very quickly thinking i need this 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 and this i've already got my basic stuff i'm not going to forget anything and it's all nice and done so take advantage of presets even if you aren't using normal presets for normal bosses make them like look if you look through here i've got zamorak i've got um ed1 i've got ed3 i've got raksha karapak solag zook like every single boss that i do often this is because i'm going to go learn virago now so i've even got a virago one um i've got karapak and raksha for ranged everything that i do regular i have a preset for to save time because you don't want to be coming back and then banking your stuff and then going right i need an overload uh, i need a prayer and all because eventually what you're going to do is you're going to grab that and then you're going to go like i'll okay, get a couple of these and then we'll just get these and let's go now if your inventory looks like this when you go to a boss you're missing a lot of stuff and it will make a big amount of difference makes sure you take the adrenaline potion Make sure you take a ring of vigor. Make sure you take planted feet. Make sure you're taking advantage of things like vitality potions. All of these sort of things like dominion mines if they work. Always, always, always use vulnerability bombs. There's no reason not to. These are 100% worth it. Uh, and always take advantage of like weapon poison and incense sticks and stuff. But again, take advantage of a banking preset for this. Because it's going to save you a lot of space in your inventory for more food. And it's also just convenient as hell. So freaking convenient. Like, it's just definitely worth doing this. So, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. And how I build my presets. And um, how I would suggest you guys can, can like, kind of learn from how I do it as well. And also, take advantage of the banking preset. Make sure you're using presets correctly with this. Um, and just, just make sure you have everything. Like, it's just, it's just convenient. But if you are going to a boss and your preset doesn't look like not cluttered but like if, if you're thinking holy crap you have so much more stuff than me maybe you're not using so many essence of finalities or something that makes total sense but if your inventory looks super super empty you've just got like a one overload and then some food then there's definitely some improvements that you can do but i hope this video was helpful so i had to quickly cover it uh, and talk about it for the person who asked yesterday and i figured it would be useful for other people too um but yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll catch you all in the next one so there, guys. Bye.